Hello to Chamonix students. This is uh, David Jeanette, uh, STEM supervisor in Chamonix School District. I'm back here with you again with another STEM challenge. Uh, many of you, uh, several of you did attempt the bridge challenge and I uh, really want to commend your efforts with that. A lot of creativity. Some of you had really had a lot of fun with the suspension bridge. Thank you very much for uh, accepting that challenge and we're ready for STEM challenge number two. For STEM challenge number two, we're looking at doing a roller coaster. Now, this roller coaster is going to involve the use of a marble or a rolling object of your choice. Uh, you know, typically it's done with a, a marble, but uh, I mean, whatever you might have. There are different types of Super Bowls you might have. There are uh, tennis and baseballs. Uh, some of you may want to try a golf ball, a softball. And I, I kind of like the idea of uh, going back to what I did with the bridge, you know, maybe even using matchboxes. Some of you have the, the different uh, cars and so forth. And, you know, you can do a lot of different things with it. I just decided to do just the basic design you know, with uh, some toothpaste boxes, you know, we kind of have uh, put one side of it and sort of let it go through and you let the, the car go through and see what happens here. I kind of like the idea of having a, a vehicle of some sort. You know, I had those larger sports cars, maybe want to try that. But obviously when making a, 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 a roller coaster, you want to be thinking about the concepts of kinetic energy and potential energy. When you have the marble and it's up high, you know, the higher it is, there's going to have more energy of position or potential energy. And as it goes down and it's, it's picking up speed, it's gaining in kinetic energy and it gains in momentum and has enough speed to be able to go through the different parts of the, uh, the roller coaster. I encourage you to be creative with this. Try uh, maybe a loop the loop. Uh, try by maybe having it kind of jump over something, you know, and go uh, like an evil to evil kind of a situation. Uh, the document that goes along with this uh, video introducing the uh, the challenge will give you a number of good examples of techniques for how to, to build uh, the roller coaster, as well as some video examples. Feel free to Google and look up all kinds of things on your own. You don't have to use cardboard. I mean, uh, the simple basic things, you've got the different court cardboard rolls, uh, toilet paper and paper towel rolls. You've got, uh, some of you probably do have uh, just different pieces of wood and different pieces of, of, of PVC pipe and other types of tubing that uh, may be available to you. Be creative and have some fun with this process. It's also, I mean, for those of you who did the bridge, think about your bridge design and what can you do to modify the bridge design and create a, a roller coaster using parts of that bridge or adapt the bridge and uh, you know use it as, as part of uh, the roller coaster. But keep in mind, you know, with all this, we're learning some of the different concepts some science and engineering. Keep in mind uh, the engineering design process. The first step is to ask, second step, imagine. Uh, you, you're planning out what, what you're going to do with the roller coaster. You're creating it, you're, you're testing it, you're improving it, you're modifying it, you're redesigning it. And eventually, like you did with the, uh, the bridge, I want you to share your pictures and videos. Um, for this challenge though, I wanna you know, really try to uh, reach out to the high school students. I know we have our elementary and middle school students that it may naturally appeal to, but uh, high school students, uh, you've got some younger siblings, some of you who've had physics, some of you that are in physics now, there's a, a natural application uh, with this, with physics. You know, many physics classes over the years have, uh, you know, gone to amusement parks and gotten on roller coasters and they've done uh, projects and analyzing how uh, how this all works. So maybe kind of uh, apply that to your younger siblings level at the middle school and the elementary level. Make it a, a family activity and have some fun with this. So here you go. STEM challenge number two. Uh, you know, you did the bridge, you conquered that. Now let's see what you can do with uh, the roller coaster. Have some fun with this in Chamonix students. Faculty, of course, some of you did uh, accept the challenge as well, and that was awesome. And uh, you're certainly welcome to, to do so again with this one. Have fun, enjoy this, and I look forward to your pictures and videos.